breaking news. The Adam Jones Les Paul custom signature is now so desirable, people are going to great lengths to steal them before they ever even get to the dealers. Welcome back troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglis Guitar Show. Now, I don't mean to make light of this situation, but my gosh, this whole Adam Jones run just has so much drama behind it, and this just tops the cake. So first off, let's talk the Adam Jones. This has been a long-awaited Gibson Custom Shop release because there's a lot of Adam Jones fans, a lot of Tool fans, and if you're anything like me and you're just a fan of the late Norland era guitars, it's cool because they finally reissued one of these things. And we'll see a review and demo. My VOS was just delivered today, so I'm hoping after customs clearance gets around for my aged and signed one, we should see the full review and demo maybe later this weekend, early next week. But here they are. $6,000 for VOS, $10,000 for aged and signed. Sounds great, right? A lot of people still like to complain about the pricing, but here's the thing. These things were sold out before they were even officially released by Gibson. So if we go to Reverb right now, Currently, there's no VOSs available and only two Adam Jones aged and signed. But look at this, 36,000, 27,500. Okay, these guys are still a little bit crazy as of today's market, but I really do believe we can get there. But even looking at the sold listings, there's an age sign for 15,000. That's 5,000 over list, 17,5 right there. Another one for 16. Another one for 17. These are documented sales on Reverb that have actually happened. Wow, an 18 even. I see these hitting 20,000 before not too long. And even the VOSs are selling for crazy premiums. 92, 12,000. <laughs> if anything, Gibson just highly underpriced these. I thought for sure that it would be 10,000 for VOS and 15,000 for aged and signed. But I just got an email from the print marketing manager of Sweetwater sharing me this local news article. And it just blew my mind. Sweetwater's entire shipment of these guitars were stolen. And it wasn't just like a, a random freak act. Somebody broke into the trailers that were delivering to Sweetwater and took all the guitars out of it. They specifically targeted this exact palette. They knew exactly what they were doing. Fans are going so crazy over these things, they will steal them before they get to the dealers. That is just insane. They're saying it's a retail value of almost $100,000 in guitars, but that's just retail value. That's not the current market value. That's probably a $250,000 shipment here. That's like a stolen burst. I completely agree with them that that person knew what they were doing because the used market is so high. Hot, like ridiculously hot on these things. This is the most hyped release in Gibson history in a long time. If you thought the slash double neck was cool, almost nobody bought those things. <laughs> They're still sitting around at some dealers. I mean, this was sold out even before they were released. And thankfully, Cesar at Gibson and Sweetwater, they got together. I guess they talked about what they should do. They decided to post the stolen serial numbers because thankfully they at least had that. So out of the 79 aged and signed ones, four of them were destined to Sweetwater. The ones that got stolen were two very iconic internet numbers, 42, the answer to everything, and 69 for obvious reasons. And then they were also supposed to get 41 and 71. So those guys are all missing. And then it looks like they were getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the VOS. There were 179 of those things made. Now these guys, you can tell what number they are by the last three digits. So 24, 126, 91, 30, 72, 145, 114, 47, and 111. This is not a bingo you want to win. So if you happen to bought something on eBay or Reverb that was a used listing, not sold brand new by the dealer for the scalpers pricing, check your serial number. You might have a stolen guitar. Now don't worry, as long as you paid through Reverb, you're going to be able to get your money back just fine. If you paid cash, you're probably gonna be out of luck, but as long as you pay through PayPal or something that has your buyer protection, feel free to reach out to me. I can help you run you through that of how to get your money back. It's not that hard. I'm sure if you reach out to Gibson or Sweetwater, they might be able to help you sort this all out too. And if you don't wanna come forward because you're scared that you might lose your Adam Jones, I've got two VOS and I've got two aged and signed. If you come forward and give the guitar back to Sweetwater, I will give you first dibs on purchasing one of mine. 
That's a pretty sweet deal considering your serial number has now been blacklisted and you'll never be able to sell it even in the future unless it's been recovered. But hey, let's say you know who <laughs> broke into this trailer and stole all these guitars. You can also contact the Whiteland Police Department. You can see their email right here or their phone number. So what a crazy turn of events. I can't believe somebody would do this because that really really stinks for the people who pre-ordered these because now they're not going to get their Adam Jones even though they thought they were going to. But in an interesting turn of events, if and only if these guitars are recovered and Sweetwater gets to sell them as brand new, these will now become the most collectible ones out of the whole run because this is history in the making. The stolen batch of Adam Jones. As a collector, I would love to own one of these serial numbers as long as they were actually recovered by Sweetwater and then later sold. So hopefully there's like a little added bonus for these people that have to hold on because I could see that being one of those internet lore stories that makes those ones even more valuable. This is just an absolutely insane situation, but I'm just completely baffled that this would happen. It doesn't even seem like they stole anything else, just strictly Adam Jones guitars. One last thing we could talk about, let's say these things never show up again, which is not likely. Whoever took these, they don't want four aged and signed and they don't want all those VOS. They're likely gonna try to pass them off to other people. But should Gibson remake these guitars for the orders of Sweetwater? I think in this situation, I would be okay with it because these people, they played fair and square. They pre-ordered. It's not their fault somebody stole the shipment. But hopefully there's a happy ending to this story. Thank you troglodytes for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care and let's find these things.